But what is most important now, what I just saw in some countries, is that the non-committal issue now, what has happened? Old people go to old people's home and there's a beautiful book by a neurosurgeon in the United States called Being, Immor Being Mortal. <coughs> it has been on New York uh, Times best, uh, bestsellers list for quite some time. 80% of the Westerners are dying in the hospitals with a very poor quality of life. The quantity, the length of life is being, is being uh, you know, uh, lengthened, but the quality of life decreases very considerably in the hospital. This was a phenomena for Asia until a few years ago. Now Asia is following the path. Many more people are dying in the hospital than at home with a very poor quality of life. It is not about health care. You may have the best health care, you may have the best nurses around, you may have the best medicine, but if you ask these people who are being treated there, are they happy? Don't they deserve to remain happy till the end of their life? They are not happy. This phenomena is coming to our country also. In the meantime, there has been quite a, quite a few uh, experiments, especially in Holland. Anybody from Holland here? No. From Dutch? No. no. Especially in Holland, Amsterdam. What they have done is, they are giving these old people job to take care of small kids, kindergarten. And this is working miracles. So these old people, and the, the beauty of it, and the tragedy of it, the irony of it is, suppose I have my old parents and I put them in the old people's home. And I and my partner or my wife, both of us are working. And I have two small kids. And these two small kids, I don't know how to take care of them, so I put them in daycare. And these old people, my parents, for whom I'm paying, they are taking care of my kids in the daycare houses. Look at the tragedy of it, you know. The families are broken. You are lending up paying for everything which you should not be paying for. So what has happened when I talk to these people, they say, no, and now we are not interested in producing babies. We don't want babies. No, zero, zero, zero. We just want to live together and be happy. Why? After meditation, after meeting with them, we look at our parents. They land up in old people's home. We shall be landing up in the old people's home also. So why we should have kids? Why we should have children? There's no need. This concept, it's not about getting married alone, but the concept of non-committal is creating a lot of havoc in our societies. What is happening in Europe, what has happened to Bali, and spirituality is looking at the life in its old totality. It's not only about meditation. It's not about your head down and legs above. It's not about those postures of yoga. It is to see life as yoga. All these exercises are to, to prepare us to see life as oneness, as one totality. We are all living in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a world where anything happening anywhere is going to affect you, is going to affect me. Anything happening in Europe is, I am not, I will not remain unaffected. Anything happening here, you are not going to remain unaffected. We are all one family. We have our differences, apparent differences. I may look brownish, you may look more yellowish, or you may look more white. My nose may look different, my eyes may look different. But at the soul level, we are one. Okay, we, that decided that we know. But these apparent differences are there. Are there. We have to appreciate the differences also. Now, how to bring them together? These differences are there. How to bring them together? This is where spirituality comes in. This is where yoga comes in. This is where meditation comes in.
Look at life as one whole unit.